In this next step, we will talk about how to import this file into Microsoft Project. First, open up Microsoft Project and select File, Open, and Browse. Select the folder where you save the document and click the Dropbox next to the File Name text box. This will bring up a list of options for the file type that you will be importing. In this case, I'm going to select XML format since the P6 file is exported as an XML file. Now we can select the file that we have saved and click Open. This will bring up a dialog box where you can select how you want to import this file. If you want this data to be imported into an existing project, then you can select one of the two lower options, but in this case, I'm going to import this as a new project. Once you have your desired options selected, you can click Finish. One thing to keep an eye out for is that not everything may line up exactly how you had it in P6. Unfortunately, this is the biggest drawback associated with converting a P6 file to a project file. Microsoft Project will pull certain information or not include some information from the P6 file that can affect the dates on the schedule. Although our project still shows the same start and finish dates, there are some discrepancies in activity start and finish dates due to the fact that we are using a six-day work week for three of the tasks in this project. In order to solve this problem, I'll create a new calendar within Microsoft Project that I can apply to the schedule in order to get it to line up correctly. In order to do this, I will go up to the Change Working Time under the Project tab and click Create New Calendar. I'll change the name of this calendar to six day week. I will then double click on the start column and select Saturday and then change this option to set day to these specific working times. I can now add in the working times for Saturday which will be 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. I've added the hour gap between noon and 1 to show a lunch break within the day. Now that I have this filled in, I'll click OK and then click OK again. And I'm going to add in a new column for this updated calendar and I will choose task calendar. As you can see, the activities that had the six day work week in P6 are now blank. I can go in and change these to the six day work week so that the dates will line up correctly. When you are in the process of changing your project file to P6 or vice versa, be sure to go through your schedule in great detail in order to ensure that everything matches up. Now that we have the schedule showing the correct dates in Microsoft Project, I'll show you how you can export this file into P6. The first step is to click File, then Export, then Save Project As File, and then select XML Format, and then click Save As. This will bring up the dialog box where you can select where to save the file, so I'll save it in the Downloads folder again, but this time I'll change the file name to distinguish it from the schedule we exported from P6. I will then open up P6 and select File, Import, Microsoft Project, and then select XML. I can then click select and find the file that we just exported from Microsoft Project. I'll use the same template that I exported with so then I can click next and then finish. Now you have the schedule imported back into P6 from Microsoft Project. As was the case with the file imported into Microsoft Project, I highly recommend you and your team go through the schedule and ensure that there aren't any undesirable changes that have taken place during the export and import process. I hope that you found this video useful and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments section below and we'll try our best to get the question answered for you. Thank you and have a wonderful day.